but here goes Delamere with a big looking run to the inside. Delamere and Shime, these two race on from pedestal, then Amea and Miracle Garden followed by Amna. They're inside the final furlong now. It's Delamere who's found a bit more from Shime in second. Miracle Garden trying to launch over the top. It's Delamere though is out in front. It's Delamere and Miracle Garden. Delamere and Miracle Garden in that order. Shime third. She's improved with every run and I'm just thrilled for her owners who have stuck with her for so long and um, they actually bred her and I think this is their first winner so it's great. <laughs> As they head down to the final furling on Laos now begins to make the move into the lead. Laos going for home under Holly Doyle from Velvet and Steel. Victorious Knight running on from miles back then Red Flyer and the rest but it's going to be Laos's race. Laos going on to score and to give Holly Doyle a double. The further I went the better. He, he sees a mile out pretty well. He'll probably get further, but it's really encouraging when you ride a horse like that that's taken such a big step forward from his first run. Go and get those blue silks on. Thank you. <laughs> and they're off. For the road to the Kentucky Derby, condition stakes. One mile is the journey. Highland Avenue making a move against the running rail. Oodal Ali goes with him, then out over Lanty and Sergeant Tibbs, who's trying to run at them hard to the outside. Highland Avenue, though. Rail Skimmer has picked up the lead from Sergeant Tibbs to the outside of Bodroy, then Oodal Ali, but it's going to go to Highland Avenue. Highland Avenue's out in front from Sergeant Tibbs in second, Oodal Ali third. Doing anything on the 1st of May? <laughs> I hope we getting the ride on him again, but no, it's just great to have the ride today. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they race now inside the final furlong and a half, and it's full intention. Look at a grinding out, Sir Titan, no, looks a big player to the outer. Robin Amy in third, then recall the show and love destiny and divine messenger. They go inside the final half, it's full intention. Who's really brave in front? Sir Titan's going to try one last time. Sir Titan's going to go over the top. It's four for Holly Doyle. Sir Titan the winner. Knockout blow, Storm Melody, Phoenix Star, and there's Madrino exploding into action over on the far running rail. Madrino's in front. Now from Phoenix Star, Knockout Blow and Storm Melody. It's five for Holly. It's Madrino. Um, if you have been out, maybe just got back from work, and you're wondering what's been happening at Kempton, it's the Holly Doyle show for the second time in her quite remarkable career. She has now ridden a five-timer. Even more remarkable that this evening they are five straight wins through the card and it includes the feature race on the card and it is three on the night. Let us not forget for Tony Carroll as well. Congratulations to Tony. But it is Holly who takes the headlines yet again. I was at Windsor when you rode your first five-timer. I must be your lucky charm. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's great. Days like this don't happen very often, so you've got to make the most of them. I suppose when you're on, you're on runs like this, you're, you're full of confidence. I just try and do what the trainers tell me to do and write to instructions, and 100% of the time they're right, you know, with what they're telling you, so if you can pull it off, you're three-quarters of the way there. Well done again. Thank you.